Okay, so hi everyone. So are, are you having a good time so far? <laughs> nice. Well, as it's a short talk, I won't go really in detail about unit tests uh, themselves. So I suppose you all know what are unit tests and why we need it. And if you don't, you can ask questions after about unit tests. But uh, my talk will be about uh, what to use for testing React. And you know, like, I was trying to figure out how to make like an interesting presentation about this topic of unit testing. But uh, I realized like many developers find kind of boring or they don't like writing unit tests. But my goal today is to show you how painless just unit tests actually are. So my name is Ruth Freimane. I'm a front-end developer from Accenture. So what is Jest? Jest is a JavaScript testing framework introduced by engineers of Facebook. With this zero configuration idea, they encourage more developers to write unit tests. Because this is all you need to start writing your tests. Like, you don't have to spend a lot of time figuring out setup and installing all the dependencies. Because Jest comes with test runner, assertion library, mocking library, and coverage tool already included. Which is, of course, great if you are only testing JavaScript functions. But when it comes to testing UI and React components, well, it can get a bit more difficult. Because uh, to render a React component for testing, you will need an additional library. I would recommend using Enzyme. Even in their documentation, just suggests this library. And to be honest, it's not a big deal to add it. It's still not a lot of configuration for like testing the whole UI. I really like using Enzyme myself. With Enzyme, you can render your components. You can uh, find elements in the view with like uh, jQuery-like selectors. Or you can simulate events like clicking a button or filling in an input and do so much more. And of course, you can test your view like this. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, it would take a long time to assert each element. And if you change your view, it will take a long time to fix all these tests after. And who really wants to do that, right? So the solution to this problem is snapshot testing. With a single line of code, you can test the whole component's output. And as the name suggests, this test generates a snapshot. And snapshot itself is a small JSON file, which is a copy of your rendered component. When you're changing the view, it compares the current view to the previously stored snapshot. And if there are different snapshot fails. So let's say we have a little app all about dogs. If I create a snapshot for this app, it will look something like this. For example, if I change a class name, the snapshot fails, and it shows me the difference. And if I didn't do this change by accident, it's uh, really easy to update snapshot. In the watch mode, you can just press U, and it's updated. But because it's so easy to update snapshots, sometimes developers don't actually review them, especially if those are huge snapshots. Uh, yesterday, we actually talked with uh, <laughs> Vix guys from Lithuania about this problem, that the snapshots are usually huge, and uh, what's the point of them? So what you can do, one thing is uh, you can make snapshots for like more specific things in your component, whatever is relevant to you to test. And there is also this uh, snapshot diff library, which only renders a difference between two provided values. For example, your component before changing the state and after. Usually your components also have children components. If I add a child in my dog app, in the tests I get everything rendered from the child as well. But I only want to test my dog app in isolation in unit tests. So actually, Enzyme has different ways to render your component. It's a shallow mount and render methods. If you're using mount, it renders the full DOM tree. You can use this method if you want to test uh, interaction with children. But uh, usually, you would use shallow because uh, it renders your component in isolation without children. If I render my dog app with shallow now, 
I don't see contents of child anymore. It's kind of like mocking out children out of the box. You can do it manually with just mocking as well if you want to. And talking about mocking with just, it's very simple. For mocking out dependencies, you can just use this uh, just mock method. And usually you want mock out dependencies like you wouldn't want to use uh, real API calls or things that could change over time. Oh, sorry, time's up. Well, <laughs> yeah, um, I think just an enzyme is a perfect team for uh, testing React components. It's uh, pretty easy and fast, and oh yeah, writing unit tests are very easy. So thank you. <laughs> awesome, thank you. <laughs>